Some of these portages are really kind of scenic. <laughs> Hey Rick, why do you like it here? <laughs> well, because I got another one. <laughs> Let's see how big this sucker is. All right. That's a walleye. That's a good thing, right? Oh well, yeah, there he is. Oh. And easily released. There he goes. So Burnt Rock Lake has uh, worked out pretty good for us. So uh, we've been here uh, so good, in fact, we've been here two nights. The fishing has been great. Bugs have been low. Yeah, a little breezy out here in camp, but uh, you know, it just keeps the bugs down. And you know, it's just been a great sight. Nice open rocks, and like I say, the fishing was great. Um, had a nice fish dinner last night. Went for a ride today in the canoe around our little island or partially around it and uh, caught a bunch of fish. So, but tomorrow we move, going down the Palisade River, see what that brings. So we're here on the Palisade River. This is our second campsite, but the first on the Palisade River. Three portages today, pretty, I would say easy, short ones for sure. The longest was 282 meters, um, a real nice one actually. And the last one was nice, it was, it's right here actually, there's a falls just below it, and uh, very scenic. We actually caught a bunch of walleye after we came to this camp, which is only a couple hundred yards from the falls, and uh, uh, got things sort of set up. Took, a, took a, uh, a swim, a clean up, a wash in the lake, and uh, then we went over to the falls and uh, caught some walleye, so we're having walleye for dinner tonight. So that's, uh, that we've had great fishing on this trip so far. Excellent. Foggy morning. Rick's made friends with a couple of a dozen damselflies or dragonflies. They've been buzzing them, keeping the mosquitoes away. Rick and I found this uh, sweet little uh, fishing spot across the lake from our campsite called Webster Creek. We've been here about 15 minutes and I think we've caught already about a dozen uh, walleye. So it's a pretty sweet spot. Oh. 
our second portage of the day it's a beauty very scenic kind of a chilly day today though <laughs> uh, windy too and likely we're going to be uh, hitting some uh, some waves on some big lakes here coming up but so far so good this is uh, portage number three for the day 70 meters around this class two section of rapids Rick said we should run them, which is a, a good reason to never listen to Rick. Last portage of the day, just 47 meters, but uh, some portages easier than others. This one, not so much. First challenge this morning is a lift over, according to the map. And so all we got to do is find it. <laughs> what do you think? Think that's, you see any water movement up there? Well, if we have to lift it over that one uh, snag that came across, uh, that's a real high lift. <laughs> because we go underneath it. Oh, a lift under. Pretty little spot. Looks like we're gonna have to unload here. It's too shallow and too narrow. So it is a an actual lift over. First portage of the day after our uh, little lift over. This one uh, is 155 meters. Some of these portages are really kind of scenic, like this one. Just beauty. That's uh, that's the lake we just came from. And swing you around here. Way out in, the, way out in the distance there, that's the lake we're going to. This is a uh, trampoline style a tump line. Found it in a book written by Cliff Jacobson. Show you how it works. It uh, is pretty neat. Even though this is not a heavy canoe, having a little bit of help uh, with the weight, really appreciated it uh, at our advanced age. Anyway, I'll show you what it's like once it's up. So it just rests on top of your head. Just gives you a little bit of um, weight off the shoulders. Kind of nice. Pretty nice pork tires trail, eh? They aren't always this nice. That wasn't too bad for an old man. <laughs> Monday morning, we're uh, just getting going here in the morning. It's uh, it's our designated uh, day to uh, to touch base with Debbie on the sat phone, which we'll be doing here in a few minutes. And I'm uh, just uh, catching up on my uh, note writing in the journal. Haven't even had breakfast yet, but that'll be soon. Had our cup of coffee already. It's a beautiful day. It's very quiet out on the lake, so we like to get going, and, and uh, we've got a large expanse of water to go across the Arrow Lake this morning. like to do that one that's calm. And uh, so we'll get organized here in camp, give Debbie a call, and uh, get going. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. Is that right, Rick? No clouds? Thousand dollar day. Thousand dollar day. Rick's the authority. So, Rick and I have been going hard, pretty hard for the last few days. Getting into camp late, having to take uh, campsites that are less than ideal. Um, 
So when we uh, when we finally got to Whitewater Lake, we were sure hoping to find a good campsite, a really nice campsite, and we did. This one, it just uh, it's got everything. It's big. It's got lots of uh, rocks for fishing off of. It, uh, it's just a, an ideal place, and we're super lucky to have found it. So woke up this morning. It's a little cool, actually overcast and and uh, so got all this clothes on and everything but uh, really hoping to have some walleye like I said we've been going pretty hard the last few days getting into camp and just not uh, well not being lucky enough to have good places to fish and really not even feeling too much like it so uh, this place although the fishing from this site itself has been Mm, not great. There's a little falls over here and Did pretty well this morning. We went over there. It's uh, it's late morning right now We went over there Rick had caught one fish here cleaned it and then we went over and caught two over there So we've got two uh, Actually three now walleye. We're gonna have a, a lunch here pretty soon looking forward to that It's been a few days since we've been eating fish Somebody had a lot of time on their hands they made this, what do you want to call it, a tinder box, all sewn together and everything out of birch bark. Pretty cool. If this is a vine or a root, huh. that natural product as opposed to man-made. Fun morning. We just paddled down uh, Whitewater Lake, the big lake out that way. Uh, got. A little windy, especially about halfway on, but we were traveling with the wind, so that's very helpful. But a little hairy here at the end, because this is the Ogoki River, right here. And uh, we had to actually cross this uh, current line right out here, if you can see it. There's a line of uh, the current coming in, hitting the lake. We had to cross that to uh, to get to our portage. And that was a little hairy. Uh, but we got through it. And it's a beautiful day otherwise. Got a few portages ahead right now, so we'll get to work. One never knows what tomorrow brings, so I thought I'd better show you camp tonight. Um, big long day today. Whitewater Lake. Oh long paddle down white water big rollers a little scary at the end but uh anyway long story short uh we made it we had a kind of a nasty portage to get to this campsite and just going to give you a pan of it we uh we were lucky to find it We did scout a few, none of them this nice. Anyway, we're all tucked in. This is the Berg River on a quiet sunny, sunny morning. Not far from the uh, confluence with the Ogoki. Just a beautiful calm day. A little bit of current going against us, not much. Very pleasant. We got a short 90 meter portage around these uh, these rapids. Where is it? I don't know here, if he, I don't know if he's coming this way. Behind me. Nope. Anyway, he swam across the creek towards us. Towards or... us. <laughs> and I watched him get in front, and he's, oh, it seems like 10 yards, right? Yeah. But he's at Is least he, How far did you go on the on the portage? All the way to the end. Oh, And then I'm sitting there standing there, going, oh, bear, bear. <laughs> or a two tall bear. Come on, take a look. Where, where are you? Where are you? You said you're going to scout. <laughs> we only need one scout. Well, I wasn't scouting. Uh, anyway, I'm very sure when he crossed, he's going to go the other way. But 
Yeah, he was too close to not. <laughs> <laughs> if he decided to check us out. Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. Where was he from here? Uh, he uh, just on top. He went by that log there. Yeah. Through there, and then just on top of the rapids. Oh, okay. I, I got you. Because he, he swam. <gasps> oh, <fuck>. Jesus. <laughs> Works. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't smell that stuff. No shit. Yeah. Don't get it in your eyes. I don't know who's more dangerous, you or the bear. Well, put money on me right now. Hey, bear, what do you think? Our last night in the wilderness, 14 days. Tomorrow we get picked up right here, right here at our camp. It's been a great trip. See you in the next one. Here comes our ride.